All right, hey, welcome to Nonprofit Avatars on the Pre-Launch. This is five steps to successful Google Grant. Step two. So uh, you guys have heard me talk about this throughout the course, and I'll bring it up. I'll continue to bring it up throughout the course, most likely. But you know, I ask it all the time, and it's for a really specific reason. Um, it's what do you want most? And the reason is you'd be surprised. There's so many nonprofits that get so excited uh, when they first find out about the Google grants that they run off and you know start diving in, whether that's trying to do it themselves or maybe they end up hiring you know an expensive uh, consulting firm or professional. And uh, you know, sometimes they just don't know this information or have this clarity before they. Even get started right so uh, anyways um, again just think about this uh, moving forward throughout this presentation and the remainder of the course but again uh, what do you want most is it those more funds is it to you know grow your programs classes or services and um, you know get those uh, get that information out there more um, or you know is it the awareness right and so uh, an example of that would you know be this one nonprofit I know whose whole mission is to get this information out about um, prescription drugs and the abuse that it has um, and how it works you know within communities and homes right and so if they had a the power of Google grants and a ten thousand dollar a month uh, you know Google grant behind that uh, that information can just reach so many more people right um, so that's what we're talking about there when it comes to awareness um, or is it those volunteers so just uh, picture in your mind which one of those or which uh, combination of those you really want most and um, you know uh, here we go we're gonna use this tool uh, to help you get there right so this is what I consider the number one tool to help you get what you want most and it's called a nonprofit avatar right and so we're in step two this is the plan ahead for success in the Google grant pre-launch but uh, a sneak peek at something right before we get there is this uh, is this is another tool in Mission Boost Academy and I wanted to bring this up here really quickly because it's related to that Google grant or that free Google grant um, strategy call that you can sign up for and this is a tool that uh, usually any nonprofit that joins Mission Boost Academy this is a tool that we start off with uh, no matter what so whether that's the starter package the elite package or the VIP package uh, this is something that we start every nonprofit off with for planning and then getting in action with Google grants now we don't have time for that in this presentation but what's cool is for a very limited time I'm offering um, for free this tool in that planning session that you sign up for right so I just wanted to let you know that and give you a sneak peek of that before we get to the next tool Tool, which is the um, that we do have time for here today which is the uh, what I consider the starting point for every successful Google grant and that's called the nonprofit avatar like I mentioned and uh, you know um, I say it all the time but it's the number one planning tool of every successful nonprofit marketer um, you know fundraising campaign or uh, online business or really any idea that succeeds in growing online and was strategic um, begins with a tool like this right so so naturally you may be asking what's an avatar James right and the, by the book definition of that would be it's a hypothetical representation of your nonprofit's most perfect donor or its most perfect volunteer or uh, rep most perfect representation of those you serve so mm, uh, an example of that would be wounded warrior homes which we brought up earlier the uh, the non great nonprofit that uh, you know helps homeless veterans struggling with PTSD get off the street um, you know they have a ton of great information th uh, that if they had ten thousand dollars a month behind to promote on Google you know they can get that into the hands of more of the appropriate people right so that's what we're talking about there and uh, another great way to think of an avatar uh, in a more logical or easy to understand way is that you know really it's uh, each individual avatar so you know the donor or the volunteer avatar you know it represents an entire target market right um, so just really briefly imagine if you were in a planning meeting with your board or maybe some of your strategic nonprofit staff members marketing members and you guys are having this conversation for an upcoming fundraiser a lot of the times the conversation might go something like this where you know hey you know I think that it's best that we should attract a you know demographic of a woman between the ages of you know this and this and she has these attributes and what happens when we start thinking in those you know ways is we really lose touch with the individual message uh, that's appropriate and necessary to send out to really have an impact and engage people so that relationship building can really happen there right so uh, the avatar is just a tool that makes this really easy to understand and so let's get into that a little bit more 
All right, so now we're on the avatar overview, and uh, if you could just look to this left here on the screen, you'll see this uh, image here that's above it where it says example, the most perfect donor, and below it, it's this one page document, and this is what the avatar is, right? So we'll start on the left here, and at the top it says uh, the millennial donor and Rebecca, right? So maybe for that online fundraising campaign or the messaging that your nonprofit has, you're really clear that you want to target a donor, right? Um, that's a millennial donor, and this is just a generic example here, um, but maybe that's the case going on for you and your nonprofit, or maybe it's something slightly different uh, again you know just let me know in that box below if you can think of something there as well and uh, you know then you'll get into okay well what does the millennial donor look like so they have a an age what that person's occupation is so in this case a, a programmer you know what social networks do they hang out online uh, is it Facebook is it YouTube you know Instagram um, in this case it is those things and then they list what sites and blogs this person visits right and so when you take the time to just answer these simple types of questions um, patterns start to emerge and things start to make sense um, and then you know so a quote we love at Mission Boost Academy with um, our members we love to put a quote at the top that really reflects uh, the donor or the volunteer they're going after right so in the case of the millennial donor here um, you know the revolution will not be televised right and that's something that this hypothetical donor really resonates with and then it gets into a short story um, about who she is what she you know experienced growing up you know what she's into and then you know we answer key questions uh, this person would have when it comes to you know her nonprofit or engaging with a nonprofit. You know what are her goals for you know engaging with a nonprofit? What influences her in her life? You know what's just her approach? And so when you ask these questions, put them together. This is what the avatar is, right? Um, so you know back to the overview here here you know what makes it such a powerful and transformative tool we'll move forward and get into that and then we'll also show you how to use this across the rest of your system here so now we're going to go over how you use this tool across your entire Google Grants marketing system, right? So uh, just you got that huge fundraiser coming up, and then you, you've taken the time to create this persona. You know who this fundraiser is for. Well, what's great about that is when you log into Google to create your ads or that professional ad agency or the individual, whoever's helping you with your Google Grants, you know, they can log in and create every single ad customized to attracting this person you've taken the time to plan for. And so what happens is... Um, the results of the ad are just much more tangible and um, things begin to happen much more rapidly. From there, you know, once you have your persona, this is how you use it in the next part of your marketing system is you go to your website and you update it and you customize certain pages for this donor here, right? And we didn't get into this yet, but we will in a future video. Uh, you know, you do not want to send your Google ad grants to your home page or a random page of your nonprofit's website. That is a huge mistake. And again, that's why you want to stay tuned for that um, video and watch that other one on Google grants and your nonprofit's website, right? Um, but for here, just understand you can take your persona and customize certain pages for your fundraiser and your volunteer campaigns, right? Then, you know, we talked about sharing your story and welcome emails. You can use your persona to uh, craft all those messages and the result is it's grown community. Um, and, you know, let's take a step back and recognize that all that work and all those plans I just talked about in each of these individual areas really gets to building, you know, relationships with all this automation and powerful tools right so hope that made sense as well for you there and I just have to ask you right like have you thought of it or not but what's your avatar's name and how do you plan to use this tool when it comes to your Google grant I'd love to hear your answers and what you come up with so let me know by dropping a comment in that box below and that'd be really really greatly appreciated so up next next video for you guys is the Google grants and how to set up your website it's a short it should be a shorter presentation um, but stay tuned for that and thanks again for joining me here today